Item number SCP-750-KO Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Revision 02-1 SCP-750-KO is to be contained in Room Z-229 of Site 222-K in Section I-3. The containment chamber door should be double-locked and no less than three LED lighting fixtures are to be installed facing towards the subject. All personnel are strictly forbidden from accessing and researching SCP-750-KO and must have a level 2 clearance level or higher in order to conduct an interview. When SCP-750-KO causes any anomalous events or Anderson Robotics personnel are discovered, personnel are to report to MTF Gamma-13, Asimov's Lawbringers, which is deployed near Room Z-229, or to Dr. Lee Sung-bin. Head of Section I-3, Site 222-K. Revision 02-6 SCP-750-KO is to be contained in Room HT-021-R, which is a rectangular shape consisting of lead, steel, and titanium. It is 3 meters wide, 4 meters long, and 3 meters high. A lighting fixture capable of emitting light of about 10,000 candela or more should be placed throughout the facility and should be continuously operated by an automatic power supply system. An EFN-111 electromagnetic system with a radius of 6 meters and a height of 2.3 meters should be placed around HT-021-R at a distance of 10 meters from the relevant room. The EFN-111 electromagnetic system is to be maintained in low mode in normal situations and is to be set to high mode if a breach event occurs. All personnel are strictly forbidden from accessing SCP-750-KO and must have a clearance level of 3 or higher. When SCP-750-KO causes any anomalous events or any group of interest members are discovered, personnel are to report to MTF Gamma-13, Asimov's Lawbringers, which is deployed near Room Z-229 or Dr. Lee Sung-bin, head of Section I-3, Site 222-K. Description: SCP-750-KO is a military humanoid unit which stands at 1.96 meters tall and weighs 160 kilograms. The subject has an exoskeleton and an endoskeleton structure, and the endoskeleton is connected to a gas mask made of steel-like metal. The gas mask can turn all forms of gas into electrical energy and supply it to subject through the endoskeleton. SCP-750-KO's exoskeleton consists of steel, silver, copper, and stainless steel, whilst the endoskeleton consists of aluminum, silver, and copper. The molecular structure of the exoskeleton and endoskeleton have an artificial lattice form. The head of SCP-750-KO has the phrase W-222 engraved on it. In addition, the subject has a symbol of Schutzstaffel on its right wrist, and the logo of Anderson Robotics and Marshall, Carter, and Dark on its left ankle. SCP-750-KO's arms, shoulders, and left side of its head have the following devices installed. Shoulders. The inside of the shoulders contains a substance that can cause heart attacks and the erasure of memories. The substance has fluidity and the main causes of the substance's effects, heart attacks and memory erasure, is still unidentified. SCP-750-KO can administer the substance through the thumb, the middle finger, and the pinky finger. In addition, when the supply of the substance is exhausted, it begins to be produced in the endoskeleton. Arms. About 300 special bullets made by Anderson Robotics are located inside of each arm. The bullets are 30 caliber and the muzzle velocity is about 1300 meters per second. The subject can shoot bullets through its index finger and ring finger. When the ammunition has been exhausted, it begins to be produced in the endoskeleton. In addition, when a bullet is shot, the sound produced is recorded at less than 5 decibels. Left side of the head. A button with a radius of 5 cm, consisting of silver and copper, can be found on its left side of the head. The button produces a second exoskeleton around the subject's normal exoskeleton. This second exoskeleton has a molecular structure similar to carbon nanotubes and provides immunity to nearly all forms of attacks and explosive weapons. The endoskeleton of SCP-750-KO has a power production facility that can transform its electrical output into kinetic energy. 
The subject can run at an average speed of 50 meters per second through the use of this power production facility. The subject also has an internal device that allows it to become transparent. This transparency can be continued for up to two weeks. However, the subject can deactivate it whenever it wants. SCP-750-KO can also feel heat or cold depending on external sources of pain or the temperature of macro-environment. This was confirmed to occur on all of exoskeletons except for the second exoskeleton. Although no nervous system or similar devices existed inside the subject, the cause of the phenomenon is currently unknown. SCP-750-KO has a strong adverse reaction to light, greater than a steady luminescence. As the high-intensity discharge shutoff system in the subject, which is attached to object recognition device to protect and supervise Marshall Carter and Dark facilities, was damaged by the chaos insurgency during the suppression event in 2003, the high-intensity discharge shutoff system is vulnerable to serious damage through the visual recognition device if the system is exposed to light higher than about 10,000 candelas. The first time SCP-750-KO discovered by Foundation networks was during a conflict between two groups of interest in Kwanjon Si and Jalalandu in South Korea during 2003. At the time of deployment, the Chaos Insurgency and Anderson Robotics members were engaged in a conflict, and SCP-750-KO was discovered by MTF Gamma-13, Asimov's Lawbringers, which was deployed to quell the conflict between the two groups of interest. Two Anderson Robotics members were arrested at the scene, and four additional documents that related to SCP-750-KO were collected. Document 01, Addendum 750-KO-A-01 the following message is from Anderson Robotics to Marshall Carter and Dark. Dear Talent, Hello Mr. Talent, your repair request was completed on September 15th. The model named P-Shud No. 11 will be transferred to Marshall Carter and Dark on September 17th. At your request, we've added the following features to P-Shud No. 11. Languages supported. English, Korean, Japanese, and Russian. Concealment generating device repaired. The High Intensity Discharge Shutoff System AIBR-112 Endoskeleton to Connected Gas Mask Device capable of producing a second exoskeleton Energy Conversion and Generation System Substance capable of producing heart attacks and memory eraser 200 extra bullets and suppressor Number 11 has been programmed to take commands only from you and Marshall Carter and Dark members. If you'd like to change this, there will be a NOT gate in the shipment that we sent you. Insert the logic circuit into number 11's back and input the signal zero. Then, a touchscreen which is installed to its back will be activated. After that, enter the Marshall Carter and Dark identification code on the screen. Then you can edit the user list by running OPLC program located in lower left of the screen. If there is a problem or you are unsatisfied with P-Shut number 11, there will be an AND gate in the storage that we sent you. Insert the logic gate into the number 11's back and input the signal 1 on both sockets. Then your request will be transmitted to Anderson Robotics in 30 minutes. This time we trust that model P-Shut number 11 gets the job done and protect Marshall Carter and Dark facilities and members. We hope that facility restoration and personal security are carried out with confidence. Document 01, Addendum 750-Code-A-06 The following is a letter to Daishas Julian, 3rd SS Armored Division Totenkov, to harass, a member of the Third Reich during the World War II in November 1943. Dear Rass, Hi there Rass, how are you these days? I'm sorry I haven't written to you for a long time. I'm writing this letter because I have something to tell you. A week ago, as you know, there was action with the Soviet Union Hungary. We deployed a lot of units to 10 o'clock, including the 8th SS unit. However, there's a catch. W-222 has started rejecting commands, and eventually exploded into presence Mr. Fagelein, and then, when he tried to kill Fagelein, the soldiers attempted to prevent him, but it didn't work. Fortunately, Mr. Fagelein survived. The rest of them didn't make it. Now he has run away and disappeared to somewhere. Soon, a new division will be formed to locate him. According to Joseph Mengele, since the AIU program was too intelligent, this accident was bound to occur. Thanks to this ten friend, 
the Soviet Union could easily invade and countless German soldiers were killed or injured. We could barely beat them by sending reinforcements, but the situation was already resolved. Many higher-ups, including Mr. Himmler, said they felt very disappointed in you. Mr. Himmler's messenger will probably visit your home soon. He said he has something to tell you. But don't worry, Mr. Himmler is not Eichmann, so he's just going to give you some reproach. Anyway, that's all I want to say. I'll send you a letter again before long. Until then, take care of yourself. Your old friend, Dasis Julian. Document 01, Addendum 750-Co-B-02 The following message is from Marshal Carter and Dark, addressed to the Chaos Insurgency. Dear Chaos Insurgency, Hello, I'm Talent Menendez, a Marshal Carter and Dark marketing manager. I'm writing this letter to warn you. Lately, you tried to seize the droid that we owned. Thanks to you, major facilities in our company were paralyzed or open to the public. Countless company employees were killed or seriously injured. Originally, we found this droid after World War II, and you guys saying that we've taken the droid from you? I think that's a very contradictory argument. According to our research, you guys were discussing the issue about how to get the SCP Foundation dunked on. That is, you didn't care about anything relating to our droid at the time, but what do you want us to do when you suddenly change your mind? Anyway, if you keep on doing things like this, our company won't stand still. Anderson and his friends promised to help us, so you'd better be ready. Considering the move that we are going to make, well, I'll leave it to your imagination. Talent Menendez, a Marshall Carter and Dark Marketing Manager Document 01, Addendum 750-Co-B-03 The following message is from the Chaos Insurgency to Marshall Carter and Dark. Dear Menendez, Hello, Mr. Menendez. I read your letter. First of all, what I want to say is you people had better be ready, not us. The discussion that we had after the war is how to take down the SCP Foundation with W-222. And like I said, we discovered this droid first. It was a gift which Joseph Mangala was preparing for us when he was helping plan our retreat. Although the droid was heavily damaged, wouldn't it be alright if we repair him? So we went to collect our ten friend. However, when we looked closely, there was only a spider web and a tiny lump of dust where the droid was sitting. That's right, you people had taken our droid. And you are saying we made a contradictory statement? Can't you recognize the situation has completely changed? We discovered this droid first, and the looting has been caused by Marshal Carter and Dark. So why are you saying that we plundered this ten friend first? We think the argument of Marshal Carter and Dark is a contradiction. Anyway, I want to tell you something. We, the Chaos Insurgency, are ready to fight our enemies. I think you'd better be ready, rather than us. Document 03, Interview Record 750-Co-B-06 The following is a record about one of two Anderson Robotics personnel arrested during the suppression. Interviewed, Cho So Ho Interviewer, Agent Griggs Date Forward the following recording deals with an interview between Agent Griggs and Cho Su Ho, an Anderson Robotics employee. Cho Su Ho is an employee of Anderson Robotics, along with guest Vince Rodbird, who was discovered at the scene. Our findings on inquiry were that these two members were confirmed to be the only survivors who were discovered at the scene. Begin log. Please take your seat. Thank you. First of all, please state your name for our record. I'm Cho Su Ho. Director of Sector B07 and Anderson Robotics. How are you related to Rodbird? She is my friend. She is also my co-worker. I see, so let's get down to business. Was SCP-750-KO created by Anderson Robotics? So to summarize, that's not our work. This droid was made in Germany during World War II. He was damaged and rusty in the underground base in Hamburg after the war and Marshal Carter and Dark discovered it by accident. Did they only make SCP-750-KO, or did they make others? They made others. When did they specifically start to produce it? Well, it was 1936 when Hitler commanded Project Reversal Reversal. That's when the droid started to be produced. Can you tell us more about the project that you mentioned? Project Reversal Reversal is a military robot unit production project that Nazis have been running since 1936. It was created on Hitler's instruction to secure buildings and occupy the enemy bases efficiently, to deliver operations rapidly, and to protect key Nazi members. 
Was SCP-750-KO also one of the results of the project? Yes, he was. He joined 8th SS Cavalry Division, Florian Geyer, and he participated in many actions with Hermann Fagelein. At the same time, many Jewish people and civilians were killed by his hand. What conflicts did he participate in? Well, if I remember correctly, the Baba Yar Massacre, the Belarus Scorched Earth Policy, and the suppression of the Warsaw Uprising. What did military officers think of SCP-750-KO? Was it positive on the whole? It was. Wherever he went, the Allies began to retreat or surrender. P-Shud No. 11 was the most capable droid they've ever produced. Even Hitler went from Berlin to Munich in order to meet him. And SCP-750-K was then found broken in an underground base in Hamburg, Germany after the war. And MCND discovered it, right? You know it very well. Did SCP-750-K get broken down during the war? Nope, I'm afraid it's not. He's a really strong droid. You can't destroy it in any way. Rather, the Nazis abandoned him. Abandoned? So he was abandoned and left all over the floor? Yeah, the Nazis neutralized p Shut No. 11 and put him in an underground base in Hamburg. Why did the Nazis no longer want to utilize SCP-750-KO? Did he cause a malfunction? As you said, well, about that situation, the 8th SS Cavalry Division, including p Shut No. 11, was sent to the Eastern Front in 1943 to stop the Soviet Union. Since he completed his massacre missions perfectly and ruthlessly with formidable power, it was a natural step. However, when they got to the front, No. 11 refused orders. He wouldn't budge despite Fagelein's best efforts. As Fagelein got riled up and drew out a pistol, he suddenly grabbed him with his hands and then threw him away. He got flung headlong nearly six meters. According to the report at that time, No. 11 was emitting smoke from its gas mask and emitting a blue light from its facial recognition device's lamp, as he was muttering murderers, die mortar, to his colleagues. A blue light. Judging from our production standard, probably an artificial emotional deadlock error indicator lamp was lighted up. Is it common for an AI to protest like that? It's not entirely unknown. As you know, the AI is difficult to make and control, even with technology like Anderson Robotics. If you set it too low, it's meaningless, and if you set it too high, you can't control it. Probably harass, a person in charge on P-Shud No. 11 caused this, as he had programmed the AI's intelligence too high, said our company's engineers. You know who harass is, right? The founder who initiated the Fourth Reich after the war? I think SCP-750-K was malfunctioning because her ass took charge of it. What do you think? Well, some people have the same thoughts as you. According to the report, No. 11 acted as if he had a real human soul, not like a motionless and empty tent robot. I understand. Is this a reason why her ass left the Third Reich? No, it isn't. But it was a shock to many people at that time. While Eastern Front was getting dunked on by Soviet Union, they were betrayed rather than utilizing a high-tech mechanical soldier. Maybe this is the origin of why the Royal Guard started viewing RAS unfavorably. Can you tell us what happened to SCP-750-KO since then? The Nazis have destroyed related documents to prevent embarrassment, but some people already know about it. He helped the Jewish people escape, smashed Reinhard Heydrich's tomb, rescued civilians on the front line. What's more, I heard there are several cases to Allied records that he passed the Nazis classified information through to the Resistance. So he was by himself for about three months, and he was captured and neutralized by the 001 Armored Division. How did they neutralize SCP-750-KO? They used tools like purpose-built weapons, or remote-controlled device, or others? They could have neutralized it with blueprints from Number 11 that the Nazi scientists gave them. If it wasn't for the blueprints, the 001 Armored Division would have had their asses kicked by Number 11. Do you know anything about the blueprints? For instance, someone or a group has the blueprints right now? Don't know, but I heard that Marshall, Carter, and Dark had ownership, but that all burned out when the Chaos Insurgency attacked them. That's what happened, I understand. Well, that's all I know, besides, I don't know anything about it in detail. That's good. Let's call it a day. Agent Lexi, I'd like to ask you to take Mr. Cho Su Ho outside. End log. Closing statement. After the interview, Cho Su Ho said he'd like to join the Foundation. Also, Rodbert, who arrested with him, has taken the same stance. 
This request is currently pending. Additionally, an interview will be conducted by Chu So Ho and Rodbird.